game. Tell he's a picker back here. You can't see the shaker half the time. More or less a miserable day. I've had it! Oh, God. Oh, God. a windy, windy day in the peanut field. Hurricane Inn is uh, hitting today, so I'm not sure when this video is going to come out, but my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody that uh, experienced damage or maybe lost somebody in this storm. Rough times, we were through it, uh, or we've been through it uh, with Hurricane Michael 2018. Did a lot of damage, but uh, yeah, thoughts and prayers. Hopefully everybody's uh, will come out ahead. We are picking here at what we call the pond field. We've just got about 15 acres plowed up. Just kind of waiting on them to get ready. Still only about maybe 130, 35 days maybe on these peanuts. So anyways, uh, gonna let them cook a little bit longer, get them graded, see what they look like. Uh, after we finish this field, we're going back to the dry land fields, knocking them out, and then on to this field, which is called the house field, which is 135 acres. Hey, Jeff. Watch all the dirt that falls. Whoop, whoa. That's a lot of dirt. A lot of rocks, little rocks. Yeah, that's what it is. Get some water in there sometimes. That's what it is, it's full of dirt. Ah. You love it when dirt just cascades all in your eyes. My header adjusted. These daggone peanuts in this new field we just went to, the, uh, the vines are so thick. I was having uh, feeding problems in my header. Uh, maybe you don't see that down there. It's so dusty. Basically, what was happening, my peanuts was kind of bunching up in front of the header. It's causing such a commotion right there that it was causing some of the peanuts to kind of, kind of roll back out of the picker just a little bit there on the front. So. We opened up the header a little bit and the steam be doing a little bit better when I can see what's going on back there. I can't see nothing right there. Yeah, we got some dust. Now that's looking out the back window of my tractor. And you can't even tell there's a picker back here. Good gracious life. So, I don't know, did Jim show y'all the edge of the hurricane? I don't know if y'all can see that out there or not. Stop, y'all. I can't tell if I'm putting peanuts in there or not. There she is. Y'all can see her now. Did you ever put them bolts in that we found missing? Yeah, I can. Oh. Okay, I was going to say that right there. Calls it for sure. Anyhow, y'all, we picking. It's dusty, but we picking. Switching gears, here I am now at our uh, oldest field of cotton, and I'm going to crank up this pivot and get it watered and cotton, probably for the last time. Right on the money. Oh, that sun is crucial this time of the day. Oh, my tripod mount. So that would be a pretty picture. Got the sunset in the background, the water coming down. Feel free to uh, screenshot that. Frame it if anybody wants it. Just don't mind all the stickers in the background. She's a rolling. Beefy, what done happened? Picker stopped up on me. Uh oh. She stopped up, but hopefully not too bad. Had a chain come off. 
I'll be changing that top on the other side of stretch. Yeah. Fifteen sixteenths. I'm going to make her stretch. Picked up and left them right where they would. <laughs> You're going to see a spot out there about six or seven foot that's got a bunch of dirt claws and peanuts under it. Right. I ain't picking it. <laughs> well, yeah, I think this is the first time I've stopped up since I've been working here. Yeah, I can't, th I can't think of a yeah, time that you've stopped up time. one. So. And I called it. Pretty good. Let me see if it turns. All right. See if going to turn the brakes. See what she's going to do. Moment of truth. If you're watching, cross your fingers for us. You know, I got the most awesome picture you picking with that sunset. It's perfect. You're like in between the tractor and the picker. Oh, Did it slip? Tell him to try it again. To bump it again. One little bump. I think you good. Yeah. He's cleaning out though. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I need to tighten up a chain too. He is laughing like this. Holy moly. We're gonna have to tighten it up. What time is it? I gotta get out. Six. Oh, I gotta leave here by about 6.35. I got about 15 minutes. Stop doing kicking. First time I've ever stopped to pick it up. Ever? Here. In your whole history of no, picking? Oh, I was about to say, that's pretty good. I don't think I've stopped one up since uh, I've been here with you. No, you haven't. Oh, no. but now when I was little, yeah, I stopped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, it's the next day, and we're here about to put some fresh blades on Mr. Larry's tractor. Shaker. Shaker. <laughs> <laughs> and it is super windy, drying out. We haven't had any rain in what, Kyle? Three weeks? It's been a while. Yeah, three weeks, yeah. So usually we can get 30, 40 acres on a set of blades, but here we are, dry land peanuts, and uh, dad's lucky to get eight, eight, eight acres, and uh, they're just gone. So putting a fresh set of blades on it. Gonna put it on a time lapse, and we'll get this done in about five seconds, starting now. <laughs> All right, we got her finished up. So now we're gonna grease the chains. Gonna blow out the air filters because it's been super dusty. It's a big old bunch of Amadas peanut pickers. Holy smokeronies. Everybody's picking peanuts. And I am headed to John Deere Sun South. We've got a, a belt that we found our Amadas peanut picker. That is just about completely ripped in two. Um, might last the rest of the year, but uh, about three quarters of the way cut in half. So, figure it'd be on the safe side, go ahead and replace it. Here we are. And we got the belt. Back at the barn, there is the belt. And it's this big belt here that's got the uh, cut on it. Not sure where the cut's at, but somewhere around there. We rolled the picker. Rolled it, so replace it. Got Jeff working on some cogs for the uh, cotton picker. Would you like to explain what we're doing here today, Jeff? Well, these got stripped out real bad <clears throat> and they about $500 a piece. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is where it's real war at, we're gonna build it up and then we're gonna take the grinder and we're gonna grind it down and make it work where it new, the new smaller cog is the old one. But, well, the D's is sick. Right. right in there like it's supposed to. Yeah. So we already did this one, got it all built up, grind down, and then working on this one. Look at that. Check out that Freddy Cougar glove you got there. Yeah. <laughs> mic check, mic check. 
All righty. Hey, okay, you're good. See you in a little bit. I'll go ahead and do it right off the bat. Yeah, go ahead and get it done with. I'll do it. All right, here we are back in the peanut field, plowing up a dry land field. And it is hard. Just got a brand new pair of points. Usually we get around 80, 30, 30 acres per three sets on the six row. But this field, I'm getting about six to eight, nine acres at the most before they're completely dulled out. You can tell, but well, the peanuts don't invert, they just start flipping over back and behind the shaker. First time I plowed up a field like this in a long time, I don't remember in the last seven or eight years us having any fields this dry. Um, and the forecast is the next 10 days there's no rain. Peanuts are ready, we know that because they're 155 days old. So I'm gonna do my best to get these things plowed up today or tomorrow. And we're gonna probably go through about three or four more, three more sets of points to try to get this field plowed up. But today has been a hot job, changing points, dusty. You can't see the shaker half the time. Just more or less a miserable day on the peanut on the shaker. All right. Check with y'all later. That is going to be the end of the video. We change plow points four times a day, about every, geez, eight, eight acres or so. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. This is the end. Jesus loves you guys. Keep it the field rose. See ya. Bye.